Hey everyone, welcome to my studio. If you are new here, I'm partnering with mosaic artist Jennifer Freeman on this public mosaic that measures 36 feet long by about four feet high. It is called the Landscape of Dunwoody, and you can see it says Dunwoody there, and it has 12 panels. So for now, I'm working with glass using silicone adhesive, and Jennifer is working mostly on the ceramic portion using thin set as the adhesive. So far, we have finished panels one, two, three, and 12. Jennifer is working on panel four. I just finished the glass work on five, and so this week I will be putting seven, so I'll have six and seven on my workbench. So let me show you what I've got. Right now I've got panels five and six, but I'm done with the glass work on this one. So I'm going to finish this little portion and then I'm gonna move this off and put seven on the table. this little section there is a seam right here between the two panels so these pieces are loose and I need to tape them first I'm going to cut a strip this is very strong mosaic face tape I think I got it at mosaic art supply I'm just going to use it and touch on the pieces that are loose loose. I take the tape and I tr or I take my scissors and trim it so that when I go to store it it's not such a sticky mess. And also if we want to stick it back in that section to take a look at it it won't stick to everything around it. Stick it back here for a second. Oh, there's another loose one. It looks like I forgot to glue some. Okay, now I put it back in place and I mark the seam. And I'm doing this upside down. I write the panel on it. Panel five and panel six, top. Now I can store this on my board with the other pieces. position and wow I have a whole lot of nothing on this panel. I think the first thing I'm going to do is work on the outline and I've been putting these on with thin set so I'm going to go ahead and mix up some thin set. Get this O on, get the other O on. And I know they look like they're a little bit wonky and that's part of the design that they are not perfectly round. They are just an interesting round shape. Oh here we go.
be using some pieces that devitrified in the kiln. I'm flipping them over, putting clear on them, and then I'm going to be adding these same colors to uh, make them a little more interesting. And then I think I'll probably be making some green inclusions as well. A while ago, I worked out all the different colors for the inclusions on these bushes that are at the bottom of seven. And so just now I have transferred my little numbering system so that I can fill it in quite easily. All set to Finally, go. Finally, I'm digging into this bin of pieces for these bushes right here. The first one is 6F. This one's 6E. Here's 6F. Let me get after it. This was a little bit of a puzzle, and I have put all the pieces in, but nothing's glued. So now I'm going to glue it, and these are not glued either. And I'm going to glue all of them and this little section. glued down and then I went and checked each one and there were, I don't know, maybe three that I had missed. But I'm glad I have all these little bits so that I can fill in any holes. So right now the only ones that are not glued are the ones that are on this seam right here. So there's three pieces. three days to get this load ready because I wasn't sure what I needed. But I've decided to make some lemongrass inclusions for one of the next green swaths that's coming up. I have a lot of little bitty bits that will help me fill in some of the tree and bush uh, fused pieces. And then I think I need some more of this color, whatever it is. I think it may be peacock green. I'm not sure, but for one of the next green swaths. And then these I was just salvaging. So it's finally ready. I'm going to go ahead and load the kiln. I, I am a little bit worried about these because they're so thick that they're going to spread maybe just a little bit. So I tried to space them quite a bit apart from each other. So there's not that much down here.
Well, it is really nice to have some of these areas filled in. I found that when I went to do this little section, all I have are these giant pieces. So I need to make something smaller to fill that in. And it's the same thing with these. The pieces are just too big. I don't have enough small pieces to fill in. So I'm gonna have to hold off on those and make some smaller pieces or figure something else out. In the meantime, I've started pulling some glass for some of these bigger green areas. I laid out some fusions and I think I'm getting a little ahead of myself. I really need to go back and work on those swaths and I've already selected the colors for those. So I'm gonna pick up a little bit of this mess, leave some of these piles of green glass, but then I'm gonna get after what's underneath the trees over there because I've already decided that and I know what that's going to be. So I wanna knock that out and then I can look more at what's going on with these O's. up with Jennifer and give her some panels to work on. So I've brought them outside to load them in my car and I just want to show them to you in the sun. They're amazing. I don't know if this is something you have to see in person, but the colors are just so vivid in the sun. Look at those greens. Ugh. So nice. So this is panel three, the top and bottom. She's got panel four already. This is panel five. Look again at these gorgeous purples and the greens are just so vibrant. Not to mention these wonderful pieces that are fused. Also bringing her panel 10, I did that little corner there and it's not in the sunlight, but just look how vivid those colors are in out being outside instead of in the studio. It's gonna look amazing on the wall. It's a south facing wall too, so it's gonna get a lot of sunlight. Anyway, I gotta get these things in my car and off of my driveway. Well, I got one in. Now I need to get a blanket or something to put in between. These, this is actually the heaviest panel of all the ones that I have because it has the most ceramic work on it right now. Yes, isn't that nice? Thank you. Jennifer has brought the U all finished. Look at that gorgeous field with crops, the purple field, the blue sky. I can see the D over here, the N over there. It's all gonna be so great. Nicely, don't yes, you? Yes, I think so. Oh, oh it looks very really nicely. Good. Here we are in a parking lot having our meeting. <laughs> She's just finished these two and she's taken these two. So some of these swaths are gonna continue. So that's great because I don't have any decisions to make. This continues here. Yeah. This continues, wait a minute. Oh, and this just goes here, this little right, guy. Right. This goes to what? To the, here? Yeah, to there. Okay. And you just have that one part there. That's also green. This green that's in the bottom of panel 12 is going right the left of that. Yes, right in that area. So Amazing. here is panel 12 with the striped fields and here are the striped fields in the middle and we made a conscious effort to dole these down so that the letters would pop and then bring in more color at the end. 
because it's not near any letters. Let's take a look. Ooh, okay. Looks good. So a brief review of this kiln load that I just did. I had some pieces that were devitrified, which means they're not shiny anymore. And I put clear on top of them and added new pieces on top so that now they're usable. The only thing about this is that because it was three pieces of glass thick, some of them became quite blobby and like this one. I don't know if I can use that. That's pretty blobby. But anyway, it worked and they're shiny now and now I can use them, so that's great. Second of all, I made some lemongrass inclusions, which I can use. Then I made some of these, which I can use. Those are all came out great. I made some, I was trying to make some more um, round pieces like this, but I forgot that these were a full fuse. So this load was not a full fuse and so they came out square. So those, if I put them back in and then full fuse, those will round out. So I'll just save those for another day. And last of all, all these little bits that I made that I can fit in here. So that was wonderful because I was waiting for that. It, it was a little bit annoying to me that there were some pretty big holes that I couldn't fill. And now I made some small ones that are small enough to fill in those little holes. Awesome. <laughs> Here I am at the end of the week. I finished the swath underneath the trees. 
I finished laying in all this and the O's and I have prepped the three biggest green areas. This one's gonna be going on to the next uh, panel. So I just have inside these O's is all the glass work. So I don't really need to worry about what's up there. And down here, that's all ceramic. And this is all ceramic as well. So as soon as I can, here's the, the divider between the two panels. And as soon as I can get this portion done, I can hand that off to Jennifer. I have to make some more small pieces to fit in these three areas where the fused glass is because it just wasn't, my pieces were too big, just didn't work. But I'm really excited to get after the green, the yellow green, and this sea foamy bluish green. And then I need to decide what color green those, that one, that one, that one will be, as well as the other blends. But I made so much progress this week I almost can say, woo. I've set aside the bigger pieces of glass that will make up those combinations. So there's one, there is number two, and there is number three, oh, sorry, number four. Oh, if I need to pull more glass and make more strips, I have that available. Just as a quick review, this is where I started this week. A whole lot of nothing on that panel seven. And I got quite a bit filled in and ready for next week. That's putting it together. Thanks for watching. See you next time.